I'm just gonna go ahead and say, if you didn't take advantage and pick this up sometime in late July or August, sayonara. Welcome to the Not Enough Knives channel, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for visiting and watching. So the Gerber Freeman Guide is a hunting slash camping slash slight survival-ish knife that has been out since the 2010s, the early 2010s. First it started, I believe, with the wooden scales. Then it transitioned to the folding model, which then became available for the people that wanted a little bit more versatility. And then they brought out a rubberized black handle for it. This review here is about the Walmart exclusive and limited edition sage green version. This is the clamshell version. I was lucky to pick this up at a Walmart clearance aisle back in June, and I think I paid $11 for it. If you can find this online or any of your local Walmarts, pick it up if it's still available. I would say go ahead and get it. This is a standard nylon sheath that you're used to seeing in most of Gerber's fixed blade knife variety from the early 2010s going forward. So the sage green is the real highlight for this particular model. It's just a beautiful color. It still maintains the patented rubber grippiness that Gerber is so popular for on a lot of their knives, including the Big Rock Camp Knife, the LHR, the Metolius, and so many others. I think even the Prodigy has the same kind of grip. It has two standard T6 bolts that hold it in. It's got an enormous amount of jimping. You got more than a generous amount here for all sizes of hands. You got some jimping here, I assume, for if you have to do any kind of reverse grip functions. You have a fully jimped ergonomic hand grip area here on the front. You combine that with this rubberized grip and it's just pretty impossible to lose any kind of grip on this knife. I love this knife. I love the way it's shaped. I love how it feels in my hands. The balance seems to be pretty decent. This is a 5CR15 MOV steel. It's the Chinese variety of the low carbon stainless, so it should be fairly easy to sharpen and still maintain an edge over time. This one came pretty damn sharp. In a pinch, you could probably baton with it, although the blade is shorter than the average blade that you want to use for that. It has the same saber slash convex with the rear clip point, mild grime here in the front, just like the Prodigies look like. And it's got an elongated lanyard hole for versatility. All in all, I am very, very happy with this knife. I don't know if you guys know, but Gerber is made by a Swedish company named Fiskars. It's Scandinavian kind of nonetheless. It's backed by an incredible company. They design their knives in the USA. If they're not made in the USA, for the ones made in China. For the most part, they're a USA brand. The warranty is fantastic. So this is the fine edge model. I don't remember if they do make a serrated edge for this model, but this is the fine edge model. This definitely feels like a Walmart exclusive. Let me know how you're liking it in the comments or not liking it. Let me know what you think overall about the knife. Thank you for watching guys. Please hit the subscribe button and I will be with you next week with more videos. Take care and have a good one. Peace.